All right. Now the next thing we're going to do. Let me get to this. I want to walk you through some of these settings for snap scan. So I'm going to left or right click, excuse me, on this little icon in the taskbar. And I want to go to profile management. You can see all the different profiles that I've set up. And for example, let's go to this one right here, scan to Evernote. So let's, let's see, I believe, oh, I'm sorry. This is just to, uh, this is just to set up the, how they show up in your list. For example, if I wanted this to be up at the top, I just click on it and then click up and we'll just move it higher and higher up the up the ladder and that's helpful because you can prioritize which which one you want where so I can move it up and up and up apparently this standard PDF is is automatically first because it won't let me go any higher this second one here I'm gonna move up right below the one I just moved right there okay and then I'm going to close this back up and I'm going to come over here and left click and you'll see that these two now are up at the at the top of the list underneath the standard profile so and you can choose whichever one you want prior to scanning this is the one I use most of the time and it uh, it scans on both sides of the page and makes a PDF and sends it straight to my Evernote account. Now the one we really want though is called scan button settings. You know when you press the scan button on the scanner itself what's going to happen? So if you choose that option by right clicking on the icon and then choosing that option with your with your mouse you get this and I think by default your scan snap software probably came with this option checked and you want to uncheck it if you want to be able to change any of these options the quick menu basically is the simple menu and that's fine unless you need to make some special changes so uncheck use use quick menu and then down here you can choose the one you want to look at or change so this is like I said my main one scan to Evernote document make a PDF and <clears throat> it's that's the application is Evernote that I'm that I'm going to be sending my scan to that's the profile I'm looking at and you can either add or remove this from the list Let's look at the application settings. I leave this checked. I'm going to convert the document to a searchable PDF. And Evernote does that. I'm going to use English. And I want all the pages that come through to be, you know, have the, that those things applied to them. And I believe this is the standard options that you get. I don't remember if this is checked automatically or not, but I always check it. Then say OK. Then go to the next tab, which is called Save. This just tells you where your documents are going to be saved on your computer. And then they also, of course, get sent to the Evernote servers uh, in the cloud. And that's one of the advantages of using Evernote. So you can choose wherever you want this stuff to be saved. I always leave it as the default because I'm guessing that Evernote knows where to find stuff if you just leave it where it's supposed to go. The file name format comes across like this. The, the year, the month, and the day. And then the rest of it is minutes and seconds. And I just leave that usually. So I'm going to just leave this as default. And then I'm going to go to scanning. I leave it as automatic resolution, auto color detection, and as I said, this one 
comes out of the box as duplex scan, which is double sided. They'll automatically rotate the image, and it's it's not foolproof, but if you put the page in sort of upside down, it'll the software seems to know that it's upside down, and it'll automatically flip it over. Not 100% of the time, but you can do that yourself later. And if there's any blank pages, let's say you have three pieces of paper and two of them have stuff on both sides and one of them has something on only the front, uh, it theoretically will remove all those blank pages. Again, not 100%, but it's pretty good. And continue scanning after the last page. I don't really want it to keep scanning, so I, I have that unchecked. And then you can click down here where it says Option and you can reduce the bleed through and you can affect the black and white brightness by sliding this up and down. Notice it right now you can't touch this but if you check this then you can raise or lower that. I leave it just the way it is most of the time it works just fine but if you have have to change this for a specific document that's giving you a hard time you can come in and mess with this including all of these options here. I just leave them as default options in, unless I need to change them for a specific thing. So I'll say OK to that. Go to File Option, and again, it's going to be PDF. And I leave everything else unchecked because in this case, you want a PDF, but you're going to let Evernote do the work of uh, OCR or you know changing everything so it's scannable or searchable text. So I don't want the scan snap software to do that also. That's why these are unchecked. The scan snap software itself will do that for you also. But I let Evernote do all the all the work because that all happens sort of in the background. So I just leave this alone. And then paper, you know, it's automatic. Everything's automatic, so I don't touch that. And I don't usually touch the compression. Uh, which basically makes the files smaller. I just leave it in the middle, uh, number three. So you can make larger files by going to the left and you know smaller files by going to the right. You know, I, ju I just leave it in the middle and it's been working fine for me for two or three years now. So that is the scan to Evernote profile. Okay, I want to go back to application now and let's see here's here's where I added the option to scan only on one side so I added a profile and the one I added was let's see where is it it's my simplex one and I can't find it here well, I don't know why it doesn't show up but let me just show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna add a profile so you click on that it says um to 10 applications can be added. So I'm going to click on add. And well, I'm doing something wrong here. Hang on. As you can tell, I didn't rehearse this ahead of time. I'm doing it all from memory. And I'm not used to doing it on a PC. I'm used to doing it on a Mac. So sorry about that. All right, I was in the wrong spot. Don't click down here. Click up here under profile. There's all my profiles. There's the one I was looking for. And here's how you add a new one. Okay, so so let's just click on Add Profile. And I'm going to call this one, since I already have a single page per piece of paper set up or profile uh, for simplex purposes. In other words, one side of the page and each piece of paper that goes through the scanner will make a separate Evernote note rather than if I have 10 pieces of paper it'll make one note with 10 pages okay that's 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 the standard that's what you get out of the box and it'll do both sides well I want a profile that gives me two-sided you know in other words if a piece of paper has two sides I want both sides scanned, but each piece of paper I want to make a single note. So that if I have 10 kids who turn in two-sided pieces of paper, 
I can put all 10 of those in the scanner, choose this profile, and when it, it's all said and done, I'll get 10 separate notes that I can file in each kid's separate uh, notebook uh, and get both sides of the paper included in that, in that note. So I'm going to call this I'm going to call this uh, two-sided one page per note or one note per page I guess and page of piece or piece of paper in other words I can change this later but that just for our purposes so I'm going to say okay and now it changes to that and it's still on scan to Evernote it's still on PDF okay and now let's go through the settings so I'm going to choose this one I'm going to leave it as I did with the last time and I'm going to go to save and it's going to save it in the same place when I go to scan I'm going to leave it automatic automatic but it's and let's see yeah it's a duplex scan so both sides leaving these the same but come down here where it says option and I guess that's not what it was so leave that the same sorry about that file option uh, all of this is going to be the same PDF etc click option down here and notice it says multi-page PDF you get a whole batch in one PDF so once again if I have 10 separate pieces of paper from 10 kids and all or some of them have something on both sides of the page then when I put all 10 of those through with one scan I'm gonna get one Evernote note with all 10 of those kids in the same note so if I'm saving it as a an assignment that I just want to be able to go and look at later, that's fine. And I would I would use it this way. But in this case, I want to click down here, generate one PDF file per one page. So every page gives me a separate PDF file, which means it's going to give me a separate Evernote note, which we'll get into in a later lesson and what that what that means. So I'm just changing this one setting and say OK. And I believe everything else then we can leave as is. So this is two sided, one note per page. OK. And then you say OK to that. And it says the settings have been changed. Do you want to keep them? And I'm going to say yes. And now what I'm going to do is go back over here and just left click. And I have my original two uh, profiles. This is the one that will scan two-sided. And it will make a batch of pieces of paper show up as one note in Evernote. This one will give me two uh, simplex, one-sided, and one note per page. This will give me two-sided and one note per page. So you can see I can choose to scan both sides of the piece of paper or if every piece of paper I stick in there has one side to it, it'll just scan one-sided. And you know that way if you if you have bleed through, for example, coming through the back side, it's not gonna it's not gonna scan both sides and give me this, you know, a second page which has really nothing on it for my purposes. Because again, it'll make a separate note at the same time. So I don't want that. That's why I choose simplex if I just have stuff with one side of the page covered. So that's those are some profiles that I that I use. I usually use one of those three. And uh, if you find that you need some special things, you can go in and tweak it between simplex, duplex, batch scanning, or separate documents for each piece of paper scanning and if you set those up you'll be in pretty good shape to scan pretty much anything you need to this year